I'm standing at the northern border of America, and I'm going to cross the entire country in a perfectly straight line. Starting at three, two, one. Now I've got all types of vehicles to go through mountains, rivers, canyons. The only rule is if I ever step outside this line, the video's over, I lose. Now before I set out on this journey, I did some quick maths. If I continue to only walk across this 1500 mile line, it would literally take me six months. So my friends are about to pick me up in our first vehicle. Oh, there he is. There's the boys. Come on in. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Bro, it is so cold out there. It's nice and warm in here. Road trip? Road trip. Road trip. Road trip. Woo! After getting picked up, we met the pleasant folks at the American Border Patrol. Hey, how are you doing? Point your camera at the floor. And we were well on our way, which means I should probably go ahead and tell the boys. We cannot leave the line for food, gas, bathroom breaks. It all has to stay on the line. We're going to starve and run out of gas. <laughs> 100%. Where are we going to poop? You know I poop a lot. It has to stay on the line. Okay, so North Dakota basically has the straightest roads I've ever seen in my life. But the blood part is going to come in when we hit our first obstacle. An obstacle? What do you, what do you mean by obstacle? <laughs> This is the first obstacle. So as you guys can see from up here, our straight line turns. That's not much of a straight line if it turns, Eric. Correct. So we're going by foot now. Max, our cameraman, is going to be driving the van. And anytime we get in a situation like this, he'll meet us on the other side, right? Yes, sir. All right, we're going. Ugh. I wonder how rough the terrain's going to get back here. We're going to do this all the way across America? We are not stopping until I literally touch the ocean on the other side of the country. We need to walk perfectly straight this way. And just so you know, the line we're using to cross the country has a half mile buffer zone on either side. To avoid trespassing and make sure this mission is actually possible. And just so that you guys know this is 100% legit, I actually put the map to this route in the description. You can go try it for yourself if you want. Right, we got a river crossing up next. Careful. If we get wet right now, you're going to be wet for the next two days straight. Oh, no, no. Oh, oh my God. Dude. Oh, my oh. God. Oh. 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 <laughs> He's covered in sewage. What is sewage exactly? Any excretion from a human body. You're saying I just fell in a poop river? The van is waiting for us right there. There she is. Aside from that big bend on the highway, the roads continued straight all the way to South Dakota. Oh, oh. <laughs> but we realized we may have another problem. All right, we've been driving for like 250 miles. It was kind of funny that we were running low on gas like 20 minutes ago, but now we're like actually almost out of gas. There's been a couple of restaurants and gas stations, but they're like right on the other side of the line. There's some deer out there that are still in the line. You guys want to go try to chase them? Yeah, let's go. That sounds like food. Maybe the only food that we're going to get out here. Deer for dinner. Wow. Ah, Ow. Like a mile away. <laughs> they're so far. Oh, they're running. They ran outside the line after the deer chase ended in failure. Mac was getting a little too hungry. I'm no advocate for cannibalism. <laughs> But one of us is gonna have to sacrifice themselves if we don't find food soon. Fortunately, no cannibalism would occur. Because just before our tank hit empty, we stumbled upon the first gas station within our line. Gas station, gas station, gas station, gas station. You hungry? Dude, I'm starving. <laughs> what are you? What's your name? Carmen. Carmen, we're traveling across the United States in a perfectly straight line. And you are the first gas station we found on the line, and we're starving. Oh, three. Four. Wait, wait, wait. You're gonna count all these? Yeah. What if I just give you like $500? You're not giving me $500. We're on a time crunch. You just ring me up for $500. This is not $500. It is today. No. no. Yes. Probably not. Carmen. 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 After paying and hugging Miss Carmen goodbye, we had our first five-star meal. But that didn't help the fact that we're bored, so we're going to build a snowman and run it over. I don't know why. Anything to feel something. <laughs> For the next few hours, we were able to make easy progress. But at mile 850, we came across a literal 90 degree turn in the highway. All right, boys, looks like we're gonna take a right here. I wonder if there's any obstacles. What the fuck is that? I've had these sitting here on standby for us all day, waiting for us to get to this point in the trip. <laughs> that highway takes a 90 degree turn in that direction. So the only way for us to go straight is to go directly through the woods. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Oh boy. You might be wondering why you would cross a frozen swamp in the middle of the night. It's for the line! Oh, oh my bro. gosh, dude. What that are was, those things, bro? That was crazy. Max is waiting for us right there. We are officially on the other side of the obstacle. Time to continue the journey. After destroying ourselves on the four-wheelers, the boys were in the mood to destroy a pizza. But of course, there was an issue at the closest pizza hut. Okay, so we just pulled up to a pizza hut. I can't make this up. It is literally on the other side of the line. So I ordered delivery to right outside. It would take literally five seconds to just walk across the line. We're not going to do that. They'd have no idea. What is wrong with you? Thank you so much. Did you guys know that you're actually helping me get to 10 million 
subscribers. Ten million. I actually love pizza so much that Pizza Hut is gonna help me make the world's largest pizza when I hit ten million subscribers. Uh, okay. It's a fact. Okay. I already damned them about it and everything. It's proof. This is the previous record for the world's largest pizza. It's literally gonna be bigger than that. So make sure that you guys subscribe to get ten million subscribers. On to the next one. With pizza power coursing through our veins, we drove through the night visiting the world's largest gas station. What is this place? Breaking out the next vehicle on our list, the one wheel to cross obstacles. Yeah. Yes. Thanks, one wheel. Ah! Whoa! Whoa! What? What? What was that? What did you do that? That was so scary. Before dawn, we arrived in Kansas. We're not in Kansas anymore. But when the sun rose, so did our problems. We are now at the point where we have one mile until we are empty on gas. What's the plan? We're 10 miles from a gas station right now. I'm just betting this car goes 10 miles past empty. If it doesn't, we're out of gas. The gas is right here. We are rolling into this thing. Oh, yep. Go. It's up. It's out right here. <laughs> you can't make this up. So this gas station is outside of the line. So we got our cameraman Max here. You're technically not on the challenge. I need you to go to that gas station, fill up gas, and bring it back. Hey. Bye, buddy. The lengths we were going to stay on this line were exhausting. For the next 200 miles, Max slept in the back of the van. But what he didn't realize is we had a big surprise in store for him. Okay, Max just got out of the car to go change his clothes. What he does not know is that we're going to be surprising him with his girlfriend. Avery, if you guys watched the bunker video, you saw that Mac has had a hard time being separated from his girlfriend due to the rigorous schedule that we're under to make videos for you guys. He's gonna be so freaking happy, bro. So once Avery was in position, we walked inside to surprise Mac. Wait, 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 what about these over here? What about that one? <laughs> I'm gonna cry over here. How did you get her in here? <laughs> this is literally my specialty, this is what I do. She's gonna help us finish the road trip? Yeah, straight line. They were able to enjoy each other's company for around three minutes. Are you guys ready for a boat ride? Boat ride? Road ends there, guys. Why is there a child on the dock? Eric, tell me who that child is. Stetson! Hi. This is the owner of the boat. He is not the owner of the boat. You say him. Where's your dad? I left him. Stetson's gonna be nice enough to take us across the lake since the road ends and all. Load up, boys. I have so Load many up. questions. And my lady. I'm not used to saying that part. How far do we have to go on this boat, buddy? We're going seven miles across the lake right now in a perfectly straight line. No, we are. Yes, we are. Stetson, you're not my dad. Whoa, Eric. Whoa. Control. Bro, I'm drenched. Look you're better driving. <laughs> Stetson! Oh. 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 What are you doing? We ran to a wave. What are you talking about? You think this is some type of game? We're all soaking wet for the rest of this road trip. Get out of here, buddy. You don't know how to freaking drive a boat. Oh. 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 What the fuck? Why did you do that? Get out of here. Stetson, you drive this thing. I don't trust you anymore. Turns out Stetson is an absolute savage at driving boats. And he got us to the other side of the lake safely. This is the ride, buddy. <laughs> Before we take off our soaking wet clothes, you might have noticed that we're all wearing this custom Iraq Across America uniform. Ah! Hats, hoodies, t-shirts. It's literally us on the shirt. This design is so sick. I'm so proud of how it turned out. It's available for 72 hours. And we would absolutely love if you caught the piece to support your boys. Please. Merch available at the top of the link in the description. We would appreciate your support. Support. Okay, on to the next one. I am freezing cold. Our time in freezing cold was coming to an end because we were in Texas, baby! The last and most difficult state in the entire journey. Why do you keep doing that? Pull over to the side of the road real quick, actually. I might have been a little dishonest with you guys. So we've been going in a straight line this entire time, but I spent months on this and could not find like a perfectly straight line from where we are right now to the end. Okay. Um, I found a compromise, a way to finish the line. So we're one minute away right now. Are you gonna tell us how we're gonna do it? No, I want you guys to just roll up on this. All right, all right, just pull up over here. That plane what? looks broken. What's wrong with what's wrong? that? That uh, is the world's first flying car. I've never seen anything like that in my life. Gary! I brought the fun to the party. This is Gary, the proud owner of the world's first car, plane, boat, hybrid. And he is my guardian angel to help me finish this challenge in a straight line. The only catch is there's only enough room for one of us. Before you take yeah. off, buddy, I wanted to give you my hat. Are you serious? Yeah, uh, yes, I'm serious. <laughs> if I can't make it the straight line across America, my hat has to. I'll take that. <laughs> Oh, this is crazy. Oh, there he oh goes. Oh my God, that looks so crazy. <laughs> straight line, straight line, straight line. Oh. We're actually gonna go get on a real plane now and go home. This vehicle was three times the speed of the van, and I was just five miles from the finish line. After a graceful landing in the ocean, I was just steps away from finishing this once and for all. After days of walking, driving, one wheeling, flying, carring, I will touch the Gulf of Mexico.
think you might have stepped outside the line. Huh? Mm. Can we just cut this part? Or? I think I think we gotta put it. Can in. we just cut it? <laughs>